Guten Morgen. How are you, my esteemed friends, esteemed sisters, esteemed brothers, esteemed brethren? This morning, I want to speak to you about uh, encouraging yourself in the Lord. And um, I will try to reconcile what I'm going to say by reading from my book called Treatise to my learned friend, the attorney at law. And this is a book that I wrote to myself, but I also consider it a will to my children. I told my children that consider this your will. Hmm? Your test, my testamentary uh, disposition. So it's my will to them in terms of advice. So you may want to pick a leaf. Some of you who want to look at it, you can find a copy at uh, lubogo.org or com. You can actually find it on Amazon. You can also find it on Uganda Bookshop, Aristoc and I own almost all repositories in the country, Makerere University, Uganda Christian University, Kampala International University, Islamic University, Nkumba University, Uganda uh, Management Institute. You can also find it at the National Repository Nkozi. Uh, you can also find it at the universe at uh, uh, in the United States Congress, uh, the biggest library. So you can find our books all there. And uh, this morning, I just feel like uh, worshiping with you, singing with you the Lord's grace. I think it was David the Summit who says, My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit praises his holy name. So regardless of whatever challenge that you may be going through, I said I vow to speak life and encouragement to you, to speak hope to you, to speak life to you, to be that shoulder that you can lean on. Feel free to call me when you feel sad. Call me when you feel desperate. Call me when you feel disappointed. Call me when you feel depressed. Call me when you feel like you want to die. Call me. I will be a shoulder to lean on. I will be a voice to you. I will speak life, hope to you and encourage you and say, my brother, my sister, do not give up. What you're going through is part and part of life. Life is a journey, not a destination. And it was the great psalmist who says, My soul magnifies the Lord. And permit me to sing a little bit of it as I worship the Lord. And I pray that there will be impartation from me to you, even as I speak this, even as I sing this song. Uh, I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will impart you with grace. And, uh, and favor even among us the things that you do. Uh, there are those who ask, why do you incorporate scripture into legal matters? But I can tell you, I can find no better solace than the word of God. The scripture says, thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. And uh, the word of God says, it's only a fool who says there is no God. Even as we begin to observe the world, begin to think another kind of uh, dimension in terms of morality, in terms of financial, uh, you know, um, diligence, in terms of um, academic levels, or call it anything. You, you're better witnesses to what's happening to the world today. And so sometimes you end up losing faith and hope in the world. But listen, the scripture says you are the salt of this world. And if the salt loses its saltness, then the world is not going to be worth anymore. Perhaps before I begin to worship with you, let me read for you from my book at page 8. Thomas Jefferson wrote, 
I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against any form of tyranny over the mind of a man. A person who blindly accepts the opinions of the majority in fear and intimidity follows a path of expediency and social approval is a mental slave. We need to be exemplary in life and always a flashing light to plague the dozing conscience of mankind. Nothing in the entire world is more dangerous than sincere ignorance and conscious stupidity. Shakespeare said, for sweetest things turn sourest by their deeds, Lilies that fester smell far worse than weeds. The things we do, we should do in altruism. In other words, a regard for and the devotion to the interest of others. And that's what I said, I will be a shoulder to lean on. In all we do, solus populi supreme lex esto, in Latin meaning, let the welfare of the people be the supreme law because in the very end vox populi vox dei in latin the voice of the people is the voice of god seek the truth william cullen bryant affirmed and said truth crushed to earth will rise again thomas kiley wrote no lie you can speak or act, but if it will come after a long or shorter circulation, like a bill drawn on nature's reality, and be presented there for payment with the answer, no effect. And a lie, in most cases, will travel half across the world before the truth puts on its shoes but the truth will always arrive there many days before the lie. So over 200 years ago, Dr. Jo Joseph Warren, who was actually the president of the Massachusetts Congress, once said to his fellow Americans, on you, he said, depend the fortunes of America. He told his fellow Americans, you are to decide the important questions on which rests the happiness and the liberty of millions yet unborn. And it added, act worthy of yourselves. My brethren, on you, yes, and I'm saying you, you who is paying attention to me, you who is disregarding your children, you who is deliberately refusing to take care of your children. You who is deliberately refusing to take care of your wife, of your husband, of your mother, of your father, of your neighbor, of your friend. You who is taking a bribe to frustrate the efforts. You who is bewitching. You who is castigating. You who is becoming a meddler in other people's deliberate good desire and intentions on you depend the fortunes of Uganda and you are to decide the important questions on which rest the happiness and the liberty of many yet unborn act worthy of yourselves so over several years now it is mutable whether this particular demand of Dr. Warren has actually met significance. We are here to serve humanity. Some of you have had the privilege of reading my book, Ubuntu Bolamu and the Law, an extra textual statutory interpretation tool. We realize that I make advocacy by way of jurisprudence in terms of fending and caring for one another. Dr. King said, for whatever reason, I find that our lives are inextricably bound. I cannot be what I am until you are what you are. 
Dr. Desmond Tutu even put it better. He said, if there's anything that there's a gift that comes from Africa to the bigger world, it's the gift of humility. It's a gift of oneness. It's a gift of togetherness that Africa exports. We are a communal situation, society, and we depend on one another. We are intertwined. Your joy is replicated in another person's joy. Somebody's tears should not be your joy. You should be able to lend that listening ear. You should be able to lend that listening eye or ear. Be able to help up your brethren when they're in trouble. On you rests the liberty of millions yet unborn. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit praises his name. Even death could not hold him captive, even in the grave. He is Lord, even in the grave. He is Lord. My brother, my friend, God will make a way where well, there seems to be no way. He walks in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for you. He will be your guide. Hold him strongly to your side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way. You make a way. Jesus is your answer for the world today. Above him there is no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer. For your world today, above him there's no answer. Jesus sees the way. I know my Redeemer lives. Deep within my heart, I know that you are going to exceed, you are going to succeed regardless. My friend, whether you believe in Allah, whether you believe in Buddha, I want to tell you that as long as you have that ability to call upon that magnificent God, the Almighty God, I bear witness, but there is one God. He will make a way for you, my friend. Only believe, and you will see the salvation of the Lord. Be blessed. God bless you. I love you.